Hey everybody, Shane back with you here from Guitar at Work. Something a little different today, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm going to record all this on my phone. Just a short, I'm going to call it tidbits, uh, or something to that effect, sort of bite size, maybe like just a few minutes long, uh, in between our regular bi-weekly videos that uh, you've all been paying attention to, which I appreciate. And um, I'm going to do this all on my phone, one camera angle, short, maybe just like, you know, intros and fit some really cool, quick little bite-sized pieces. And what really, really brings this one out is I'm going to use this device right here, this microphone right here, the Audigo. Once in a while, a product comes across that absolutely changes everything for me. And this little guy is a, a series, there's microphones inside that. It syncs to the phone automatically. And it's just amazing. It's on a boom stand here, a mic, standard mic stand, and it clips on there magnetically. Sorry if there was a bang there. And it's just fantastic. So I'm doing it all on the iPhone and this guy here is gonna, it just syncs to the iPhone and it sounds fantastic. So I'm um, just gonna keep it super, super simple. And today I thought uh, what the iconic intro to uh, Wanted Dead or Alive Bon Jovi, you gotta know it sounds this way. I think you know it. <laughs> now that's gonna repeat, but I'll go this right to this guy. There's only two shapes involved in that fancy bit, so let's get right to it. Here it comes here. I'm going to go up to the 14th fret of the G string, 14th fret of the G, and the 13th fret of the high E. So we're, I'm on my middle finger here of 14th. You can reach that, even if your guitar connects a little, little closer there. 14th fret of the G and the 13th fret of the high E. So that little shape, I'll call that split finger. That's your first shape. And from there, I'm just going to play the open D string, then the G string, then the high E, then back to the G. Okay, now that's gonna be the pattern the whole way. Let's do that a couple of times. Here's open D. Here's your 14th fret of the G. Here's a 13th fret of the high E. And back to the 14th fret of the G. So there's a string in between there that we're not using. That's the B string. That's a standard thing. Really standard. Okay, get used to that. I like resting my right hand, as I've told you many times. I rest my right hand on the bridge here, just so I know the pick stroke is coming from my wrist and I miss, I tend to miss less strings that way. Okay, then I'm going to drag my middle finger back to the 12th fret of that G and grab ring finger on the 12th fret of the high E. And there we go. So 12th fret of the G string, 12th fret of the high E. Let's call that a parallel shape because your fingers are on the same fret. Two different strings, but on the same fret, right? Same right hand pattern. So I'm getting this. Look at that. Those are the only two shapes you're going to find in this part. So I'm going to go up. Here we go. Back at the top. 14. Open D first. 14. High E. Back to 14. Middle finger is going to drag to your second shape. Your parallel shape. Same right hand pattern. Good stuff. Take that guy, drag him two frets lower. Same right hand pattern. That's it. So we've got three shapes. How you doing, Jack? <laughs> Am I boring you? Okay, so 14. 13. Back it down. Middle finger drags. And add the ring finger, 12th fret. Go, middle finger, ring finger drag, two frets lower, 10th fret. And now back to the original shape. I'm gonna back my middle finger back to the ninth fret of the G, and first finger is gonna be the eighth fret of the high E. That's your first shape you ever did. A little bigger down there, it feels like. Okay, I'm gonna add another one. Down, drag your middle all the way to the fifth fret and go to a parallel shape, middle of the ring. Okay, and let's go from the top. Catch your breath here, and we're gonna go 14 and 13. Open D, 14, 13, back to the 14, drag it two frets lower, add the ring finger, high E. Drag that whole shape down two frets. Back to the original shape on the ninth fret of the G and the eighth fret of the high E. And I'm gonna take that whole shape, drag it all the way down to the fifth parallel shape. That's a fifth and fifth. Original shape, split finger, down one fret. So on the fourth and third. Now I'm gonna drag down two frets, but slide it. Okay, I'm gonna go back up, show you that again. Here's fourth fret, G string, third fret on the high E. Play your pattern. Open D, slide. Oh, grab that guy. So if your slide, if your, if your note kind of dies, 
going to find out how much how much uh, pressure do you need to keep on there to keep the note alive without skidding out, right? Uh, you might find as you get quicker with this that um, you're going to find that uh, you don't press probably as hard as you might be right now. You might be really crushing it right there. So, that's how it sounds. Okay, so here's the whole thing. Slowly, three, four, twelve and twelve, ten and ten, nine and eight. Five and five, four and three, and now slide two and one. There we go. That's that's your tone. Now that part would repeat. Okay, it's going to repeat, and then he comes in with the big cowboy lick. What is that? So I'm going to go open A twice, third fret, A string, open D, third fret D string, open D. Okay, so that's going to be... Here we go. Now I'm going to grab... Um, and I'll back it up a second. There's a little tug there. You feel that? I find we all at first tend to overdo that. It can sound a bit sour. Remember, it's just to tug it. Just give it a bit of attitude, you know? A little bit of attitude in there. Then I'm going to grab a D chord minus the middle finger. D chord minus your second finger, okay? And that's called a D sus2. Gonna play the high E string, then play the B string twice, then the G string once. Okay, so in time, taking him off. Chord. Okay, here it is again. Three, four. Now, I'm gonna repeat that, but I'm gonna keep these two guys on, okay? So I'm gonna go middle finger. finger off and choke out the high E. Choke, choke out that thin string. And next time on these shorter videos, these bite-sized videos, let's do the verse as well where the singer comes in. That's when we go to a full D. You hear it brighten up there. It, gets, it goes major. As soon as I add that middle finger, put that buoyancy to uh, That's your major third in there. Uh, let me just play it all the way through here and I hope you had fun with that. Now let me know what you think. These short little videos in between our regular two-week thing um, they, which tend to, you know, typically your videos are coming in about mine anyway, but half an hour or so with a fair amount of detail. So if you're just looking for what I'll call them rut busters or um, bite-sized little pieces, this might be fun just to break break out things a little bit. So here's your whole intro, guys, and we're going, let me know what you think. The thumbs up and uh, comments really help me, so they let me know what you're thinking. This is all done again on the Audigo. I love this thing. Audigo, A-U-D-I-G-O, Audigo Labs. Right here, wait. Show you, oh, this guy, incredible. Incredible audigolabs.com. Absolutely fantastic. Um, they're a wonderful, wonderful company. I love this thing. Here's your intro. Oh. Repeat. Thanks guys, let me know what you think. Short little videos, that was the Audigo. It's the only microphone on right now. There's three mics in the thing, it's amazing. And one of the coolest things is, I can stop the video right from here. The phone is recording, so if it makes a noise here, stop. <laughs>